What's up, Ibex? My name is Veronica. Welcome back to Ibex Running. Today, we are going to do Reese Witherspoon's Run Walk Challenge. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, check out her Instagram, and you'll see that the whole month she's doing a Run Walk Challenge, and she invited all of us to join along with her. So today, you're going to follow me, and we're going to join in Reese Witherspoon's Run Walk Challenge. So as always, let's get started with a walk. I want you to be on a one incline. So let's bring that incline of your treadmill up to one and feel a little bit more like you're in or outside walking around and running around, okay? So we're gonna start off with our speed at a 3.5 to a four. So anywhere in there, I want you to get that speed going. Excellent, we'll get our timer going. And we are here for three minutes. So during this run walk, you're gonna alternate between walking at a brisk pace and running at a little bit of a faster jog. I'll be giving you those intervals and those speeds. We have six of them, all right? So we'll be doing this together here for 30 minutes. So make sure those shoelaces are tied. We're gonna get going here, all right? As we walk, let's start thinking about our posture, releasing some of that tension, right? So shoulders are back, chest is up and proud. You're hitting the ground, maybe a little bit on your heel or medial in that foot, squeezing the glutes, which is projecting those hips forward and let's be pumping those arms because we know whatever the upper body does, our lower body does. All right, take a deep breath in, slow exhale. Excellent job. You're coming up on your first minute in a few seconds and you got two more minutes to go. So anywhere in that 3.5 to four. While you're walking, if you're noticing, it maybe feels a little bit slow and you wanna pick up the pace a little bit, that's why we give you that range, right? So you can find where you feel comfortable but also are challenging yourselves because remember, this is a challenge. All right, so I got some really great fun facts for you about Reese while we do this run walk today. All right, like I said, definitely check out her Instagram. She does a lot of great things on there, a lot of fun things. I really enjoy it. A lot of her posts are just so positive. Uh, she talks a lot about different books she's reading or different recipes she's trying, um, and she's just always so bubbly and happy. I love it. So definitely check her out. You'll see every day she does post about her run, walk challenge and what she's doing those days. So tag her too, tag us after you complete this workout today. All right, so we all know, right, she's an amazing actress. She got her Hollywood star in 2010. So if you go to LA, check it out. You got one more minute here for this walk. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Obviously very known for all of her Legally Blonde stuff. That's one of my favorite movies that she did. The first one and the second one. She is from the South, so in um, all the times when she has her accent, that's her accent, right? 40 more seconds here of that walk, and then we're gonna pick it up into that run. All right, this one, this fun fact, I didn't know this, and I'm, it's, I think it's so, so interesting. So Reese, right, is actually her mother's maiden name. It's not her first name. Her first name is Laura, but they put in uh, Reese as her middle name, but she always goes by that. Super interesting, right? 15 seconds here. I don't know, I just thought that was super cool. All right, deep breath in. We're gonna take it up for that speed. So now for that run, I want you anywhere from a 5.5 to a six. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's pick it on up together here. All right, for this run, you're gonna be here for two minutes. All right, as always, we wanna check that form, right? So let's make sure chest is proud. We're standing up nice and tall. We're light on our feet. We don't wanna be slapping the ground or slamming the ground. Push through that treadmill, or if you're outside, push through the ground here. All right, just like when we were walking, we want to engage those glutes and push those hips forward to propel our body with each step. I know that treadmill is moving, but you are moving your body. So I want you to have active movements pushing down into the ground. There we go. Let's make sure upper body's relaxed and smooth so that lower body is relaxed and smooth. Pushing those elbows back, swinging from the shoulders, and relax those hands. All right, there you go. You're one minute in, one more to go for this run, and then we go back into that brisk walk. Awesome job, Ibex. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Find your rhythm, right? Find your cadence. I want you to settle on into that and just stay there. Hold it all together, live in that moment. 
Excellent. You got 40 more seconds. Countdown. Let's go. That's it, runners. This challenge is about consistency, right? So about trying to get our body moving consistently for an entire month. You got 20 more seconds. And sometimes that seems like a really big goal for some people. That seems really tough or really challenging. So that's what you have to do is do it. Take it one day at a time. 10 seconds here, and then we take it back on down. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to 3.5 or four. All right. Excellent job. Back to that walk. You're here for three minutes. So use this time, catch that breath. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Make sure that speed is at a speed where you're still challenging yourself, right? You're still keeping that heart rate up, but you can control your breath. You should be able to kind of hold a conversation. Chat with me, right? All right, deep breath in, slow exhale. Awesome job. Here we go. More fun facts is that Reese, like me, has a French Bulldog, and she also just got a new French Bulldog. It's so cute. <laughs> named Minnie Pearl. Adorable. Love Frenchies. Mine is named Hank. He's a brindle Frenchie, but Minnie Pearl is white with black spots. Check her out. Super cute. There we go. One minute down. You got two more here for this walk. Deep breath in through the nose, right? Exhale out through the mouth. Let's think about that form, right? We don't want to hold on to those handlebars. We don't want to just go through the motions. We want to be in this moment, right? Because we're taking this challenge one day at a time. 30 days. Excellent. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. Awesome. Another thing about Reese is that she is obsessed with Tupperware. And I really want to ask her, how does she store her Tupperware? Because I love Tupperware too, but I can never find the lids. I can never keep it all organized, right? You know every time you open up your cabinet or your drawer with all your Tupperware, it's like you have no idea what's going to come flying out. So I love Tupperware. They come in so many different colors, shapes. I really got into the ones that are glass and you like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You click the lids on. They're super awesome. But again, I don't know how to store all of it. Here we go. Let's go, runners. One more minute. If you're feeling good, I want you to pick up that pace. Get closer to that 4.0. So it's leading you into our second run here. Remember, you only have six, right? So it's going to go quick. So I want you to take advantage of each run. All right, see if each one you can progress a little bit faster, even if it's 0.1. See if you can progress that speed just a little bit faster. Excellent. Deep breath in. Slow exhale, beautiful. If you need a sip of water, I want you to take it now because you've got 30 more seconds and then we're bumping that speed back up, right? So we're going to be anywhere from a 5.5 to a 6, so anywhere in that range. There you go. Let's think about what that body's about to do. Prepare yourself for this second run. You are there for two minutes again. Here we go, Ibex. Ten seconds. You got this. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's bring up that speed. Excellent. Good, and again, I have my incline up to 1.0. If you feel like that's too much, feel free to bring it to 0.5 or just leave it at zero. This is your challenge, right? This is you trying to stay consistent for those 30 days, for the month, keeping that body moving. I think sometimes we forget that when we're feeling really lethargic, or we're feeling tired, or we're feeling down, that working out actually gives us more energy. It actually makes us feel better. It actually picks us up. So during a time like this, walk, running, moving that body is a perfect thing for you to make consistent in your life, right? And not every run, not every workout has to be super intense, super high end, right? It could be just going for a long walk with your dog. Maybe you have a Frenchie too, right? It could be going for a stroll with your friend, walking with a coffee, whatever it is. But just getting your body moving every day can really make a huge difference. Here we go. Under a minute left, and then we go back to that walk. So if you're feeling good, 
and you're on the lower end of that range, I want you to bump it up. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Think about your form, right? Form is what holds all this together. And the center of that is right here in our core, right? So we want to keep that core nice and tight. Bring that rib cage together. Take that belly button in, contract it, and let it stabilize your body as your arms and legs are doing the movement. 15 seconds here. Let's go, runners, all the way to the end. Come on. Excellent job. Number two, coming to an end. Let's bring it back down to that walk in three, two, one. Take it down 3.5 to four. Excellent job. That's it. Woo. Two down, four to go. Let's go, Ibex. That's awesome. Before you sip that water, I want you to try to catch your breath a little bit. All right, so take that deep breath in through your nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. A lot of times, we're just trying to bring air in and out as fast as we can. But when we want to catch our breath, you want to slow that down. All right? And as always, keep that body moving. Awesome job. Oh, deep breath in, slow exhale. So another fun fact about Reese. So one of my absolute all-time favorite show friends, she was actually in two episodes of that. So she was Jennifer Aniston, or Rachel Green's character, right? She was her sister, and she came into two episodes. So you have to go back and watch all the seasons to see her. But I think sometimes people forget that she was on TV shows. Yep. Here we go. Deep breath in. Slow exhale. There we go. Starting to catch your breath a little bit. Now grab that sip of water if you need it. All right, if you feel good and you're in that lower end of that walk, now that you've caught your breath, I want you to pick up that pace a little bit, right? Start preparing for that third interval, that third run coming up. And then we just hang out here, keeping it moving. This is that active recovery, right? So it's allowing us to catch our breath, but it's still keeping that heart rate up. We're still burning calories. We're still moving that body. Blood is pumping, and that's what our goal is for today. It's just to keep ourselves moving and stay consistent. Awesome job, Ibex. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Great job. You got one more minute here in that walk, and then we're going to take it back to that run. I want you to keep, as we progress through this workout, keep evaluating where you're at. So how are you feeling? Remember that RPE scale we've talked about numerous times. So how hard difficulty from one, like you're still laying on a couch, 10, like you need to go to the hospital because you can't breathe. Where are you feeling in this workout, right? You want to try to keep it at that steady pace. So I don't need you. We're not doing high, high, high intensity intervals, right? Where we're running for like 30 seconds all out. We're not doing sprints today. So I don't need you on that higher end. I need you in that middle end, maybe somewhere from a three to a five, maybe a six. All right. Rate yourself there. And let's try to keep ourselves consistent. You got 20 more seconds here and we're going into that third run. Excellent job, Ibex. Remember, we're going to bring that speed up anywhere from a 5.5 to a 6. Pick your level. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Let's go, Ibex. Two minutes here. Bring up that speed. As you feel that treadmill speed up, or if you're running outside, as you start to build speed, recheck that form and then settle into your rhythm. Right? How are you striking the ground? Are you just letting your foot flop down or are you actively pushing it into the ground? Are you swinging those arms forward and back? Or are you letting them just crisscross in front? Let's reset ourselves here. We're at that third interval. We're at the peak of our workout, peak of our run. There we go. Awesome job. Let's go, Ibex. I think another thing that is so great about this challenge that Reese is doing is in a time like this, it's really great to have that support or just a new goal or that next thing. Maybe you already are someone that runs consistently, but doing this with Reese, I think just adds another layer of excitement and fun, right? Doing this together as a group here with Ibex, it just adds in another level of fun. Who thought running was fun, right? Under a minute here, come on. These are those little things. 
Every time you finish a challenge, you got to find a new one or find a new goal or a new program or a new thing that you want to do. So if you were with us for our Couch to 5K series and you completed that, that's awesome. What's next for you, right? Do you want to complete this run, walk challenge? Do you want to try to get your intervals faster in some of our high intensity runs? Do you want to build up your stamina with some of our fart like runs? What is your next challenge? 15 seconds here, and then we bring it back to that walk. Excellent job, Ibex. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take it down 3.5 to four. That's it. Oh, yes. Number three done. You're halfway. That's awesome job. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Let's catch that breath a little bit. Right? And then we'll go into number four. And you guys know I have more fun facts for you. So, did you know that Reese was nominated for two Oscars, Best Actress in Walk the Line and in Wild? And she actually won the Oscar for Walk the Line. Did you also know that she trained for her singing vocally for six months for Walk the Line. That is dedication, I love that, right? Wanting to be the best that you can be at something, right? To put it out there, I love that. I want you guys to think about that and take that with you, right? How can you put yourself out there and be the best that you can be? What can you do training-wise that you can improve yourself? Think about those things, right? And it's those little building blocks, those little steps, those next goals, those next challenges that keep us intrigued, that keep us fighting, that make all of this exciting. I don't need you to just jump on and grab a workout. I want you to be conscious of, hey, today I want to crush a HIIT workout. Or today I want to try to do this run-walk challenge. All right? Be in the now. Think about honestly what you're doing and where you want to progress from there. Here we go, runners. Awesome job here. Minute and a half to go. If you need some water, this is the time to grab some of that. All right, if you're starting to catch your breath a little bit, you're feeling good, I want you to hit that speed up a little bit faster in that 3.5 to 4 range so that you can get your body prepared for that fourth run. Oh, yeah, runners, we're making it to four. Let's go. Deep breath in, slow exhale. If it's a little bit cold where you're at right now, that's why we have all these treadmill workouts. If it's nice and warm outside, take us outside with you, right? Enjoy some of that fresh air. We all need some of it, right? And even if it is cold, we know, after learning from our Couch to 5K series, running in colder weather is actually good for our body. It needs it, it likes it. <laughs> Maybe not 20 degrees, but <laughs> it does like running in colder weather. Awesome job, runners. All right, we got 30 more seconds here in this walk, and then, we're going into run number four. Remember, anywhere from that 5.5 to 6.0 range. I want you guys progressing, right? So if you've been hanging around on that lower end, but you've been feeling kind of comfortable or good, let's pick it up a little bit. All right, 15 seconds here. That's it, runners. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Let's prepare for it. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Hit it, pick up that speed. Here we go. Settle on in with that treadmill. That's it. Find your rhythm, pull it all together. Remember, it's only two minutes. Those two minutes are gonna go super fast. There we go. Find your cadence. And let's think actively what those legs are doing. Don't just go through the motion. Be in your workout. Mentally, physically, bring those two things together. Let's go into that deep part of that hard work. Let's dig deep for it. Let's keep fighting for it. This challenge, consistency, right? The more consistent we are, the better we're going to feel. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Let's go. That's it, runners. We are coming up on one minute. You got one more minute in this interval. Where are you on your speed? How are you feeling? Think about that scale, that RP scale. Are you challenging yourself so that at the end of this workout, you're gonna feel amazing? All right, that's the point of working out is at the end of it for you to feel amazing, 
to know that you crushed it, you gave it your all. 40 seconds, let's go runners. Nice and tall, right? Shoulders back, chest is proud. That's it, awesome job. Right here, we got 30. Let's run all the way to the end together. Keep that body moving, one step at a time, come on. That's how you reach your goals, that's how you do anything in life, right? One step at a time. We can't worry about that top step until you make that first one. Here we go, 10 seconds. That's it. Yes, runners. We got five, four, three, two, one. Take it on down. 3.5 to four. Hit that walking speed. There we go. Catch that breath, right? Remember, slow down the breathing. That's what your body needs. That's how it's going to catch its breath. That's awesome. Four down, two to go. Oh, yeah, runners. Let's do it. All right, I know, you're all itching for the next fun fact. <laughs> so talking about Reese's singing, did you know she sang a duet with Michael Buble for his 2013 album, To Be Loved? This song was called Something Stupid. I know you're all going to go listen to it after this, right? It's good, so definitely listen to it. <sighs> there it is. If you've taken your breath down a little bit, I want you to grab that sip of water, right? We should always be hydrating during the workout, before the workout, after the workout, all of that is really good to help in recovery, to help our body move, right? We need that hydration. Awesome job, runners. One minute down. I love this, right? I'm so glad that we're able to do this challenge together too, doing this virtually together. It's a great way to still feel connected to each other, right? Awesome job. Deep breath in, slow exhale. Shake it on out. If you're feeling tense in that upper body, I want you to take this time to loosen it up. All right, minute and a half to go here. Because right, as soon as that upper body starts to get tense, then our lower body's gonna get tense as well. And we wanna keep everything loosey-goosey. <laughs> Excellent. So, growing up, probably no surprise to you, Reese was a cheerleader. I could totally see it. And they said in her town, they used to do cheerleading for everything. So she was actually even a cheerleader for wrestling, which that's gotta be exciting. I can't imagine cheering for that. I think wrestling is awesome. I think a lot of these sports that you do with your body, like swimming, like running, gymnastics, cheerleading, right? Wrestling, all those things where you have to move your body around and doing these different positions. I think it's, in it's incredible. So. Running, let's keep it up. We're gonna keep moving, 30 days. Here we go, runners. You got 30 more seconds left in this walk, and then we're hitting interval number five for that run. Again, those ranges for our speed, they're not changing, but you are changing, right? You're improving, you're getting better, you're getting more comfortable. So don't be scared of that plus sign for that speed. Don't be scared to put it up a little bit. See what happens when you really dip in to that next level. 10 seconds here, runners. We're going to 5.5 to 6. Number 5 here. Let's go. In 4, 3, 2, 1. Hit that speed. Let's go. That's it. Settle back into your pace. Two minutes here. Let's go. Come on, Ibex. This is the part of the workout where sometimes we get out of focus. Right? We forget about what we're doing. We're kind of just going through the motions. We've done four intervals. You're ready for this to be done. Your body might be tired, but instead, I want you to turn that around. And instead, I want you to be like, wow, I already did four of these, and I only have two more to go. I want to crush these last two, because I know the harder I work in these last two intervals, the better I'm going to feel at the end of this workout. And then the better I'm going to feel for the next workout that I'm going to do tomorrow. So let's crush these. Let's turn those thoughts into something positive. Let's actively be here in this interval. Excellent job, runners. Stay smooth with that running. Drop those shoulders, right? One minute down, you got one more to go. That's it, Ibex. Stay with me here, one step at a time. Come on. Listen to your music, bop around to that. Or if you're listening to our music, 
Bump around to that. We got some cool beats. 45 seconds. Let's go. That's it. All the things we've talked about. I want you to bring it all together here for this final, final part of our workout. 30 seconds. Let's go. Think about that form. All right, that's always the first thing to go when you get tired, and that's the most important thing that you need when you get tired. So towards the end of the workout, we do need to think about it. Think about each foot as it comes to the ground. What is it doing through the ground? What's it doing behind you? Think about that heel recovery. Let's go, runners, come on. Right here, last five, four, three, two, one. Take it back down, 3.5 to four. Bring back that walking pace. That's it. Here we go. Deep breath in. So exhale. Guess what? You have made it, my friends, to the last interval here. So we're going to walk for three minutes. We're going to really catch that breath. We're going to get ourselves super prepared, and we are going to crush that last interval, interval number six. Here we go. Let's control that breathing. Try not to hold on to those handlebars. I know they are super inviting. Don't do it, though, because you've been doing so awesome this whole time. All right, slow down that breathing. If you need that sip of water, take it now and get yourself ready. So continuing with our theme sort of about trying to keep challenging yourselves, finding that next challenge, finding that next thing for you to do. Did you know that Reese did all of her own stunts in Water for Elephants? So that was the one with the circus, and she was doing all those own things herself. She did not have a stunt woman. Right? So think about all that training that she did for that one movie. That's dedication. That's commitment to her practice, commitment to something that she wanted to do and be better in and improve herself in. Right? That's the exact same thing that we keep trying to do. Right? Finding that next challenge. Here we go. Awesome job. Deep breath in. Slow exhale here. You got it, runners. Minute and a half into this walk, you got a minute and a half to go. Let's start preparing for that last interval, right? So if you're not at that 4.0, see if you can pick it up a little bit for that walk. Let's lead into that run here. Last one, two minutes, and then you finished Reese Witherspoon's Run Walk Challenge for today. <laughs> today. And like I said, I want you guys to take a sweaty selfie post Tag us, tag Reese. We want to be able to support you and cheer you guys on through this virtual world. So let us know, comment, all those good things. We're here for you. Excellent job, runners. Here we go. You got 45 more seconds of this walk, and then we got our last run here. If you're still trying to get to that 6.0 for the run, this is it. This is the moment. This is the interval for you to do that. Here we go, 30 seconds. Grab that last sip of water if you need it. Use a towel, wipe off a little bit of sweat if you need it, and we're gonna get rolling. Last one, 20 seconds here, come on. It's only two minutes. All right, you've done five. Be proud of those five, and now go and crush number six here. Let's go, 10 seconds, 5.5 to 6.0. Where are you gonna be? Let's see it in five, four, three, two, one, let's hit that speed. Come on, take it on up. Two minutes here. Final interval. Run this one with me. This is the one I really want you to fight for. This is the one I really want you to get after. Two minutes of you fighting. Think about what you could accomplish. Here we go, runners. Settle into your pace. Find that rhythm. And then go with it. Don't think about it. Just move that body. It wants it. It's ready for it. 30 seconds in. Let's go. That's it, Ibex. Think about how good it's going to feel, right? If those legs feel heavy, if you're feeling that burning in the shoulders, right? Relax everything. Know that once you finish this run today, that feeling goes away, right? But that feeling of the pride that you fought through is going to stick with you for the rest of your day. And know that each time you do this, that feeling, the heaviness in your legs, the tightness, the fatigue, it gets less and less because you get stronger and stronger. So you're able to fight through it better. You actually start to enjoy that feeling. I know you're all going to comment and be like, Ronky, you're crazy. No one enjoys that. 
You will, trust me. 45 seconds here to go. Come on. Let's see it. All the way to the end. Come on, fight with me. That's it, runners. Keep that breathing consistent. Slow exhales. 30 seconds to go. Right to the end. And then we cool down together here. Come on, Ibex. 20 seconds. Awesome job. You have crushed five intervals. And now you have 10 more seconds of your last interval. Let's go. Right here at the end. You're going to take it back down for a walk in five, four, three, two, one. Take it down to 2.5 to 3.5, anywhere in there. We're going to finish like we always do with a nice quick little cool down here. One minute of a walk. If you want to continue walking after this, please feel free to do so. You know recovery is so important. We talk about that at the end of our workouts, right? And continuing talking about Reese, check out her Instagram because she actually has a really great foam rolling routine that she shows you how to do so you can hit full body to help with recovery. So check it out and learn how to do all of your foam rolling, recovery, stretching, hydrating, all that stuff is what's going to help you feel good to then run again tomorrow or do your walk again tomorrow, continuing with this challenge. All right, we got 15 more seconds here together. But like I said, feel free to keep moving that body till that heart rate comes down a little bit, your breathing slows down. Make sure you tag us, tag Reese, give us some comments. We're so proud of you, Ibex. Keep it up here. You got three, two, one, and take it off. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'll see you next time on Ibex Running.